interruption in the history of internet connections. I apologize for that interruption. Thanks for your patience, as always. So, like I was saying, we have a big, uh, big week next week, um, October uh, uh, 18th. We're doing this gigantic event at Second Harvest Food Bank. It's their uh, chef signature chef signature chef series, and uh, so they they uh, asked me to be a part of it, which I'm super happy to do. So we're cooking a dinner next Wednesday. If you go to the Primetime Kitchen Facebook page, you can see all the information. It's a hundred bucks a ticket. I know that's a little expensive. All the money goes to the Second Harvest Food Bank, but the food is going to be insane. You can see the menu right there. Uh, Chef Bruno Fonseca from Millennium 106 will be there. Uh, Tella Luna from Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill will be there handling the appetizer and the dessert. Uh, and then Brian Thoman from Canvas Lake Nona also pitched in and offered to make a dish, and he is gonna make uh, just a magnificent beef cheek tamale uh, with this unbelievable like uh, mole sauce. Uh, we have a crudo in there, which is kind of like a ceviche from Chef uh, Bruno and dessert and apps from our good friend Tella Luna. I'm handling the main dish, which is going to be braised beef over smoked gouda risotto with some honey crisp carrots. I think you're going to like it. It's going to be a good time. Plus, we have a wines from uh, from Quantum Leap Winery. Uh, Jill's awesome. She came through for us. We're all going to have a, uh, a cocktail up front. It's going to be a good time. So we hope you guys can make it. It'd be awesome if we could sell some tickets. I promise you're also going to get something. I'll show you in a second when you walk away just for coming out that evening. And, of course, you'll help out the most important food bank the state of Florida knows. And uh, what better time to do it now when people are kind of getting back uh, to their wits with Irma. They helped a lot. Matter of fact, when you talk to Greg Higgerson over there, and it's amazing what they did uh, during the hurricanes and continue to do as we help people throughout the state and in other areas as well. All right, let's see. We're gonna Tonight, we're going to do something cool. So I've been teasing this for a little bit. By the way, that's my wife, Tori. Hi. I'm Jim. Big thanks to the Wassies Meats guys. They're awesome. The Egg Fest has been set uh, April 28th next year. Mark your calendar. is going to be insanity. Uh, bigger and better than ever. So hopefully you'll join us. Wassies.com. Of course, as we go through the cooking stuff, if you don't mind, like and share. We really appreciate it. That helps us get the word out about the show. And everybody can see it. So let's get going. So I teased a couple weeks ago about doing something with a common supermarket thing that I kind of learned about uh, just through a friend, actually. And it's taking these... Egg roll wontons. Now, mm -hmm. when you go to Publix tour and you okay. go over to the okay. the area where they have the Stop. vegetables, what? You we didn't cheers, a. Oh, I'm sorry. And you didn't tell anybody what you're drinking okay. or what I'm drinking. Are we getting bitched at? It feels like we're getting bitched at. No, it's me bitching at you. Okay, that's fine. So lift your glass. Uh, Tori has this uh, Pinot Noir we got from Petty's, which you can yeah. see right there. Yep. And I am drinking La Crema Chardonnay because I think it's going to go really well with what we have tonight. So we're doing that. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> and again, thanks for tuning in. Can yeah. I move forward now? Yes. All right. Good. Let's get going. It's fun watching Jimmy get wine drunk. He gets a little sassy. I get rubby. <laughs> I get. I want to touch. All right. So okay. egg roll wrappers, wonton wrappers, or whatever you want to call it. You make these egg rolls. We used these before, remember? Yep. We bought those. We made those Southwest egg rolls. Well, that's just one application, guys. You can fry these things and turn into that crispy goodness, but you can also steam and boil these, and that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to cheat a little bit, and we're going to make in-house raviolis using these egg wrappers. It's a really cool little thing. They're super thin and really easy to work with, and all you need is a little egg wash and your favorite fillings. Okay. Now, we're also going to make a really easy, fancy sauce. This is the fanciest sauce you can make that will super impress everybody that literally could not be easier. It's like one, two, three, done. And it is delicious. Cream Sherry is a stone cold winner anywhere. And the reason this is kind of fun is because again, guys, you know, we knew we had kids. We got like a bunch of them. This is not expensive. And you can fill these things up with anything. Mac and cheese, seriously. Like hamburger, you could do cheeseburger raviolis if you wanted to. We're gonna do uh, sausage and shrimp. Okay. With gonna do some ricotta. And we're going to do some sharp provolone and parm in there. Tori, on the other hand, is just going to have four cheese, which is going to be ricotta, <laughs> parm. Because Tori's fat. Good. No. <laughs> it's all cheese. I mean, it's a, I know. And uh, we're going to just simmer these real quick. Doesn't take long. We're going to add our sauce. And the cool thing at home when you do these, man, jarred marinara is fine. Just buy a good jarred marinara, pour it right over whatever fillings you like, and off you go. But they are fun to do, and you can do them in different shapes. You can do them big. You can do them small. And okay. let's get going. Let's go. First thing we want to do is we have a pack of Italian sausage. Okay. And we have some deveined Florida pink shrimp, Tony. Tony? Tornado. What? What is that? No, no, I'm already drunk. It's that wine. 
Put a little bit of the wine. Okay, so what's happening? Yeah, so we got a nice hot pan. So what we're gonna do is, we're, this is just uh, coarse ground pork sausage from Publix. <laughs> Peggy said, I'm here to complain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, not funny. Peggy, we sent your stuff out. Okay, thanks, for, thanks. thanks for your order, honey. So this is pork sausage. Okay. Now you gotta remember, Tor, we're gonna be filling these wontons up. Oh, it's on. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna be filling these one times up with some stuff. There's gonna be some also some shrimp going in here. Okay. So we don't really have to have a lot because we're also gonna put this in the ricotta cheese. It's gonna have vegetables. It's gonna have all kinds of cool stuff. So we don't need a whole lot. Okay. That's, that's probably about. That's probably about half a pound. All right. Yeah. Half a pound. So oh, here, here, here's what's gonna happen. What does sausage have a lot of? Fat. Right. That's right. And it's gonna render. It's gonna render some fat off. That's, okay. why we're, that's why we're doing our sausage first. Okay. Because we want to render some of this fat off. Because the fat that we render off, that's what we're going to cook our shrimp in. All right. Because we want to get all that flavor in. And then we're going to pull it out. <laughs> mixture of shrimp and sausage, that is. And, uh, oh. and then we're going to... Um, <laughs> and then we're going to start making our one time. This is going to come together pretty quick. Okay. All right. So yep. that's another good thing about it. We're also going to add some stuff in there to make it great. Yep. I made a little combine. While that's kind of sauteing, I'll tell you about this little thing. So this is a basically like a compound olive oil. Yep. So I took, if you remember last week, we did that roasted red pepper tour. Yes. We made it right here on our grill pan. I kept that. Don't it's throw that stuff away. Those things are expensive. So we, we kept that back. So a little bit of tomato paste. And I want to give you a little, a little thing on tomato paste, too, you need to know about. All right? Double concentrate. Okay. By the tubes always. Unless you're making like chili or spaghetti sauce, you know you're gonna use the entire pan. Okay. Because inevitably you never need a whole lot of tomato paste. Mm -hmm. So what you don't want to do is open the can, take a tablespoon out, and then and then throw it away. This takes half the volume to get the same flavor, and you put the tube right together, it lasts forever. Okay. It costs a dollar more, and that's it. You will ne you won't lose it. You won't have to buy the can over and over again. So all we did was, we took our roast red pepper, which is about a half of one. When you buy them in the jars at the store, you'll see there's probably about one and a half peppers per jar. Now imagine a half of one of those peppers in here, right? Right. On top of that, about, about a tablespoon and a half of the tomato paste, uh -huh. probably about a quarter cup of olive oil, salt, pepper, hit it with your immersion blender, throw it in your blender blender, and just get it real mixed up. A great smoky, little sharp flavor okay. to, to dress this up, because we need a little red, you'll see. Okay. That sounds All good. Right. Yep. And you know what the funny thing is? I know you're already acting a fool. <laughs> I know you've already done something. People were still shining the wizard thing last week, and it wasn't, it's not flattering me. <laughs> why is it, why do you, I'm a good man to you. You are a good man. Well, then why do you do this shit to me, man? I'm, I'm you know, I'm seriously. I'm seriously? Uh, I, I, I'm seriously. Okay. All right, so. Sausage is almost done. You know, show you. Here's another reason we're cooking this early. We want it to cool because it's going to reheat uh, when we put it in our ravioli and we kind of and when we uh, we. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Um, Tanya wants I, no, no, to know. No, 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 no. I don't care what Tanya wants. Tanya wants to know if you keep the tomato paste refrigerated after opening. Oh yeah, yeah. you have to, right? Yeah. Well, I mean. Okay. Okay. Alright, right, so we're good. Okay. Sausage is done. Okay. So we just want to get that on the plate. We want to get it cooling. Sounds good. Alright. Yeah. Because again, when we put it in our ricotta cheese, we don't want it to be super hot. Shrimp in. Right into our right oh, into Oh, you're our, putting the shrimp oh, right yeah, in. Shrimp right in. Well, you didn't tell me. I know, but you need that. You're too busy I'm making me look silly. I'm not, honey. Okay, a little olive oil, because we didn't get as much fat out of it as we want. So you can assist. But still. When this goes around this pan, and again, we're not, we're gonna go right in here and make our cream sherry sauce right on top of this, all okay. these flavors. Yep. So the cream sherry, when we deglaze the pan with our sherry, when we do our shallots and our garlic, uh -huh. then when we, we deglaze that, it's gonna pull all those little brown bits of sausage off the pan, and all these little crumbly bits of shrimp, and it's gonna just make that, oh, smell that. God, that is so good. Shrimp and sausage goes so well together, guys. It is a perfect match for almost everything. And with the ricotta cheese and the sharp provolone, mm. not regular provolone, sharp provolone. It tastes a little bit like that Asiago Fontina that's a little funky. Mm. We're going to put that in there because we want it. Because that the ricotta is going to give us our creamy, yeah. and that sharp is going to be awesome with that. So don't remember, don't forget guys, don't remember. Don't remember. Don't 
Don't forget, guys, we would like you to like and share this as you kind of go along. So if you could, give us a like and a share. Yep. And uh, share it to somebody who likes to cook. Share it everywhere if you don't mind. We love doing this, by the way. This yeah. is like a highlight of the week. It is. It's my highlight, for I know. sure. Because you get to hammer wine the entire time. I know. All right, back up. Mm -hmm. You're killing me. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this shrimp. We're going to put them right on top of that sausage. We want it to cool down. And before we make our compound like ricotta mixture with the ricotta, the parm, the sharp provolone, uh, the garlic, and all that's going to shallots are going to go in there. And then that's going to go into our filling. Mm -hmm. We want it to cool down. Okay. All right. So we're going to do that. Okay. That's so good. Sure, we're going to continue to cook. And while they're kind of fishing out there, we don't want to do it too much. I'll go ahead and give a, a little uh, chop to my garlic. Okay. This is probably about four cloves. We'll get that out there for sure. Yum. Yeah. Garlic, garlic. Nothing better than garlic. And I'll tell you something else, guys. Um, shallots aren't that expensive. And when you're making a nice little sherry sauce, or really any wine sauce, um, I like to, instead of just regular yellow onion, yep. I like to use shallots. They just have a much better flavor. And when you pair them up with garlic, they get that real super, like, awesome garlicky flavor that they're so well known for. Yeah. And we really so, love that. So, Brian made your chicken marsala, and everyone loved it. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. You look so excited. I do. I love it when people make my stuff, and, and, and it comes out great. Because I'm just making this up as I go. I mean, I mean, Tori can verify that. We we really don't have any idea what we're doing here. Oh, Peggy's complaining. Oh. <laughs> Too many filters? She gets pissed about that. Thank you, Peggy. Peggy said, I need to see his eyes. Oh, my God. Show your eyes, baby. That's uncomfortable. Do it. <laughs> Peggy, you don't know the shit storm you're sighing, so please don't do that. She just doesn't, she doesn't understand the word, she doesn't know stop. She doesn't, you don't understand her. She's, she's got a serious problem. All right, let's get this shallow. Okay, yep. So much like with, uh, much like with any other onion we're cutting, and by the way, see that film? I hate that more than anything. Get that film off there, because you can't get a good grip on your shallow and get it cut. Yeah. Mm. All right, so. Be very careful because these things are a little slippery. Just like that, we're gonna come in and cut, fingers up, and then get that rocking motion with your knife so you can get that nice dice. Yeah. Let that thing ride around on your knuckle like that. And just yeah. and squeeze the vegetable out as you do it. Especially oh, squeeze it forward. Yeah, you, okay. I'm put I'm just pushing it by sense. squeezing it, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's even with these little bits. I just push it through my fingers like a like a, um like a little squeeze. It's easy. Uh, Mike Dixon said that he made your shrimp and grits, and they were off the chain. Damn, dude, everybody's going crazy. His Thanks, guys. I appreciate dish that. so far. That's awesome. With the patties, he did yeah. the. You did the patties, I, I don't know if he did the patties. Man, if you did it. this crispy patties, I was telling oh, somebody about so this good. weekend. There, yeah. man, that is like I can't thank Marlo's enough for kind of turning me on to that idea. What a great idea. Hey, Blake just joined. Blake Upchurch. Hey, dude, we, we were out. So Blake was a GM at Marlo's for a very long time. The reason I have a reputation, or excuse me, or. A relationship with Marlowe's is because of Blake Up Church. Um, you know, Blake moved on to open up Andretti's, and that's it. How Look. freaking fun was that? Yikes. Oh my gosh. So, that crazy go kart track that they have on I Drive that's Andretti's, let me tell you something, guys. Yeah. That thing is as for real as it gets. It is so much fun. Laser tag, carts, food, yeah. beer everywhere. Yeah. Tons of games or prizes you can take your kids or teenagers. I took, we, we went with some friends. I'm taking Tom, I told Tom and Dan today, I was texting Daniel. I was like, man, let's get the kids and I'll go out there. They'll oh go, my gosh. They'll, they'll go crazy. It's so much fun. Like these uh, motorcycle games, you can actually, there's this one simulator where you can like drive an indie car and the damn thing shakes and yeah. everything. It's crazy. We had a blast. So. Well, you have those, you have those glasses on, right? Oh yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, he said that the fried patties were unbelievable. Yeah, that's the best. Um, Neil, I know nap is burning down. I'm freaking out. And what are you going to do? So I, I text Tori today and I'm like, I don't know if you know this, like the best cabinet cap I've ever had. And I'm a, I'm a wine rookie. Let me just start that. I don't want people coming at me going, you don't know what you're talking about. Duh. I know I don't know what I'm talking about. But man, that Gergich Hills, if you're, Gergich Hills, if you ever get a chance, they have a cab that's, you know, 55, 60, 70 bucks a bottle. I was texting somebody. I said, look, I know it's expensive. We were out there. It's a one-time thing. It is by far the best Cabernet Sauvignon I've ever tried in my life. Yeah. It's right up there with Camus, in my opinion. Camus yeah. is extremely good, but it's right up there with that. But And they're like, they're out of power. That that winery is like in, I mean, it's crazy. They're, yeah. They're like, they're worried that it's, yeah, it's not going to make it. It's bad. I mean, I heard the Glen Ellen, uh, which is, I don't think it's, these are, these are baby Bellas. Okay. So, okay. 
uh, little baby bella mushrooms. Yeah. And mushrooms are great to carry cheese. They have a, they add a, a great earthy, nutty kind of flavor to stuff, and they really go well with ricotta. And I like these bellas because they're kind of beefy. And I like these big savory flavors because our sauce is going to be a little bit sweet and that compound olive oil yeah. is going to be a little bit sharp and smoky, which is going to add a lot of good texture and flavor to our dish. That's awesome. Hey, so Neil uh, um, had his first fish tacos ever using our recipe. This oh, time. that's awesome, dude. I'm so, cool? I'm so proud of you guys. That's so cool. That's the whole reason we did this stupid thing. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we're going to get a little more olive oil into our pan. Uh, Pete said that he did the um, the shrimp and goats recipe as well. Oh, good. Yeah, that's awesome. So we're going to add our shallots and our mushrooms at okay. the same time. For yep, I'm coming. Okay. This is probably a little too much. It's okay. It looks delish because it's got garlic. Well, I don't care what else it has in it. We're smoking a lot. Oh, I got to put my butter. Mm. Okay, so. so we're selling our house. We are selling our house. We're so excited. We're hoping to move somewhere because there's gas, right? <laughs> Is there gas in Baltimore? Yeah. Well, some the, the freestanding properties have them, but I don't think any of the I don't think any of the townhouses do. I, oh. would. That, I know. Okay, no big deal. Whatever. It's fine. Oh yeah, I'm sure you get what you want. Alright, salt. A little bit. And I, I said I love, I course down this pepper yep. with my um, with my mortar and pestle, which I love. Yep. Got a nice hot pan. Yeah, it is all, thank you, Kathy. It's on YouTube. You can just um, search Primetime Kitchen on YouTube, and all of our videos are up there. But if you want the actual recipe, you have to go to ptkradio.com and just click recipes up at the top right-hand corner, the drop-down. Yeah, what she said. Yep. A little bit more olive oil. Don't want the mixture getting too dry, but you also don't want too much oil in there. That's why I like to add a little bit of oil as we go. Now, just like with mushrooms all the time, Tori, these things are going to start sweating out some water. Okay. You can already kind of see it happening. See the glisten on the top? Yep. And that's good. That's actually going to help them deglaze. Now, again, I'm going to go ahead and take my shrimp. Am I coming over here? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take my shrimp out of here because my, 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 I could really chop up the, the, uh, the sausage as well. Yeah. I want to actually chop these a little bit beforehand. And these are just Florida pinks, man. Probably what, 20, yeah. um, 24 to 30 count? Yeah. And I actually kind of want to break these down a little bit. I want I want them to be not minced, but I don't want big chunks. Yep. And I cannot lie. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we danced to that this weekend at Park Social. Oh, did we really? We did. Or did you dance with somebody else? I did dance with someone else. I know. When you were getting me a drink. That's very, very. <laughs> and then he told me I was the wrong color. He was an Indian man. Oh, really? Yeah, he was like, you're too light. He was like, all right, well. well you didn't think I was too light before I told you I wouldn't marry right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Randy wants to do some top golf. Oh, yeah, top golf's like right behind there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, look what I'm doing. Okay, are you, you keep moving back and forth? Okay. So, this is the mixture that's going to make the base mm -hmm. of our stuff. So, I'm only gonna mix part of this because if Tori only wants, do you only want cheese? You don't want any of the veggies, Tori? Nah, uh, yeah, I want some veggies. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit off to the side for Tori. Yeah. Because we want her to have, so I'm gonna make my ricotta mixture with her, and yeah. that'll just be hers. That way we can have just just cheese and some veggies for her. Yeah. Okay. We'll set that to the side, and then then I can go ahead and add my sausage and shrimp. Okay. Back to my pan. Oh, okay. And I can mix this all together in the pan, get it good and going. Let's go. You gotta give us likes and shares, please. We only got like 78 last time. Was that bad? Yeah, that's tough. Wow. Under 100? Under 100 shares? Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. What are you not. doing? Well, we gotta get my thing back because we, we want to just kind of break that down. You don't know why I have my little pan here in a minute. Oh, uh, so you, have, you have people sticking up for you, babe. In what manner? Well, because. Because you're <laughs> to me and and they understand. Is that why Tor? They're in the minority, though, so is they don't count. Is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so believe it or not, yep. I want to spray this pan off. I don't want all these bits of my sauce. Okay. And this is my favorite pan. I'm gonna use it. Okay. Okay. What kind of pan is that? Well, it's just actually not my favorite pan. It's the it's the one I can saute with. Actually, the the, the non-stick surface of this is kind of dead. Okay. D Berry in the house. What's up, Norma? 
What are you looking for? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm going to uh, we're gonna do this challenge real quick. We're asking if anybody's got any questions. Yeah. He'll answer anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, you're the worst Isn't person. Isn't that ever. what you do? Isn't that yeah. what people do? Apparently, that's what they do. Q&As. Okay. Q&As are the thing now. Okay. All right. Yep. So, butter. Mm hmm Notice I have another shallot here. I'll save a little bit more. We're going to use the Sportifier sauce. Okay. Okay. A tablespoon and a half into our pan. That's the base of your sauce. Um, they want to know if the new house is going to have a studio in the kitchen. We might actually do something a little more than me holding this camera yeah. for an hour. And to be honest with you, we, we have thought about when we first started doing the show, I mean, we were going to do like some crazy stuff, but you know, there were a lot of things in the air. One you've just heard about. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, some other stuff too. So uh, we really didn't kind of know what we're going to be, where we're going to be. So we want to invest a lot of money in something. We had a feeling we were maybe going to get rid of this house. It's just a little too much for us as a couple. And to be honest with you, we're just too busy to maintain it right now. So it's too, it's, it's not like it's huge or it's anything, not, but it's, it's just, just a lot of property yeah, and all the kids are gone. Hey, they want to know why good and food doesn't rhyme. <laughs> um, now, how could they possibly think I could explain that? <laughs> I here, said, we said ask anything. Look here, I'm going to show you oh, something real quick. So, the reason why cooking at home is so awesome yep. and why recipes are kind of good, here's the thing. I put too much butter in this pan, and okay. I know it's too much butter because I can look at that pan and I can see that's exactly how much butter I need. I don't need that. Right. I need that. So, I'm going to take it out. Okay. And... Oh, and, throw and, it on and, right, and then just spread it all over the, the counter. <laughs> it's fine. And the reason I did that is this because I think a lot of people sometimes they get so involved yep. and they care so much about the recipes and quantities. I have found that the part of cooking that I have enjoyed the most is, uh -huh. is, a, is avoiding that at all costs okay. and making it taste the way I want to. Now, when you make it once the right way, yeah. you're like, oh, that's what it's supposed to be like. And then you can just start building crazy stuff from there. It's hot in here. And that's really what the kind of what we want to do. Um, Peggy said whoever buys her house is not going to like that scratched up stove top. Mm. I agree. That's fine. Going to have to take a price reduction. That's fine. Thanks for pointing that out, Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> So you want you want your wah, wah. you want your she's Debbie home. Downer. She is. She's uh. I love Peg. What is it? Yeah, it was Debbie Downer. Wah, wah. All right. So, okay, what's the easiest but, way to get the husk off the garlic? Uh, smack it with a knife. I can show you real quick. Okay. So um. So here we go. Got your garlic. Here you go, Mike. Boom. Knife. Split. Grab that pinch. Oh, and it just it, falls off. Is it easy enough? Yep. There it is. Go. Pretty easy. Missed the recipe tonight. He wants to know what we're making. We're making. Oh, that's good. We haven't said it in a while. We're making homemade raviolis, and we're going to use wonton wrappers that you can buy from Publix to do it. Yep. Um, and that's why I wanted to kind of feature this thing tonight, because it's like a really cool little, it's got a little cheat. I like a little cheat. Yeah. You know, that's kind of what it is. I, I, and that's kind of why I like it. It is. It's awesome. Okay. Okay, so shallots in. I'm going to add a little bit of red onion to okay. my sauce, because I like red onion, and I like the way it looks in my sauce when I present. I don't need a whole lot, just that much. And you can see my shallots and garlic, you can smell it. How aromatic is that, Tori? It's so good. Oh yeah, so, it's crazy. What's, um, what knife brand do you use? Uh, that's a shoon. I actually got that from my, guy, from my friends over at Wassie's Meats, yep. of course. We know the guys over at Wassie's are awesome. Now, another thing about this red onion, I want to tell you guys real quick. I've already sauteed my garlic and my shallots, and I can see that garlic turning that brown color. I actually want these onions to have body. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and deglaze this pan with my dry sherry. Okay. All right. This is probably... What, what was your ex-girlfriend's name? <clears throat> Get rid of the bottle. Throw the bottle away. <laughs> Trust me, when she was around me, she was never... <laughs> <laughs> so with that said, got, a, got about a quarter cup of that, of that wine in there. All right. Yeah. And what we're doing is... Now, I've kind of screwed up a little bit, and I'll tell you, I'll just be honest with you. Yeah. So, I didn't want my sauce to have all that, uh, the remnants of that stuff, and I'd already used it. That flavor is going to be in my meat mixture. Okay. Because people are like, why would he wipe all that flavor out of that pan and start over again? Right. I, I usually wouldn't have, right? But I want that, I want this to be a clean sauce, and I don't want to strain it, I don't want to do the onion separately, I kind of want to have it like this. Right. Now, think about what we have into this so far. We have onion, we have garlic. And we have a little bit of shallot, all right? Okay. 
So far, so good. We're gonna we're gonna do, reduce this wine by about half. Okay. This bottle of wine is nine dollars. It will last. This is the fifth time we've cooked on it. And I still have enough to probably make something small. Because you can't throw that bottle away. So this is gonna reduce by about half. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna hit it with some cream. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna hit it at the very end with some butter. All right. Okay. And then we're gonna basically have our sauce. And then we're gonna make our raviolis because the sauce will stay. It'll be fine. And then once we make our raviolis, we're good. We're going to do a little asparagus tips at the end. But we're just going to put those on the top. All right, scooch. Okay. Come on, Tori. You're the worst human ever, man. <laughs> um. You know what? I bought these to you tonight. I don't think I'm going to. Why? I don't know. Okay. I may. All right. Let's see I may char them in there whole or cut them in half. Yeah, I'll see that. We'll do that. Okay. And these are just for color. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Yeah, you know, people. Some of people like these things. I, I mean, they're okay. I mean, I don't mind them. I'm not a gigantic like are these little tomato fans. Yep. But but they do look good on the plate, uh, and they do cook very easily. You're basically just kind of heat them up. Really, that's all you're doing. What's up, Dennis's? What's up, guys? Oh, Mr. Egg and, and the little girl. <laughs> awesome. All right, and then we're gonna take our asparagus. Okay. We just want the tips. Yep. <laughs> God, Tori, you're, <laughs> right? you're just, man, you're just the worst ever. You, you're like a teenage boy. Whatever. Well, I mean, what do you say? It's not. Nothing. Like, it's not. You like, say <laughs> nothing. That's the whole point. All right. It's not. We just, we're going to, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go to a little asparagus sips. Now, I have my grill pan. You yep. can see that, that thing is just nice and hot. A little olive oil in there. Got it. We've got some reduction here, so we're going to go ahead and add our cream. Okay. All right. Do you want me to come over? Yeah. Okay. That's probably about... Whoa, buddy. No, no, no. See? We're fine. But look, look how easy that's going to eat that with our, with our sauce. That's a lot of green. It's not. It really isn't, I promise. Okay. I kind of feel like it is, but it's, not. it's fine. Come on. Get a little chicken stock. Okay. And chicken stock actually will take a little of the sweetness out of that wine, all right? Okay. That's only probably about two tablespoons. Some people are like, ah, two cups, but... I like to put, or not two cups, but like a quarter cup. Right. I don't do that. So we have everything in there. We're going to cook this down. We're going to add lemon last. All right. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to pull that off. That's going to be ready to go. We just salt and pepper, and man, that's it. Right. So let's build our ricotta. Um, Mark, we I think we're going to go probably to Baldwin Park. That's that's yeah. kind of where we want to go. Yep. Next to the Dennis's, and um, that's going to be super fun. We can't wait. We cannot. Literally cannot. So, Tori, if you can see, yep. I'm, uh, I'm using my grill pan. I'm going to put my little asparagus tips just in a row like here. Okay. Really rudimentary, easy stuff. You just want you don't want them laying on top of each other. Then I'm going to put my pan right back on top. Okay. Because I want to char those. I want those lines across there because it kind of looks good, and charring gives you the best flavor ever. The best. Oh, my God. It's too good. Yep. Ricotta cheese. Yeah, it is a nice area. We're excited, Jessica. Yeah, we are. Um, why, Mike wants to know why you threw away all the asparagus bottoms. Uh, I don't eat them. We don't eat them. He's a little bougie about his asparagus. He only wants the tip. Right, babe? That's all you want? Is that all you want? You're, you're a bad person. You have no idea. No, not, maybe I don't. Maybe that's the problem. Uh, half a cup, cup, so. Yeah. Of um, that. Adam said, there goes the neighborhood. Because <laughs> the culverts are moving in. Right. <laughs> All right, so uh, mm -hmm. a little garlic powder. Okay. All right. Yeah. Salt. Make sure you salt this stuff, man. This ricotta can just eat salt alive. So you want to make sure you get some good salt in there. Pepper. Actually, a little bit more salt. A little more salt. Okay. Yep. And this is yours. Actually, we should have done yours in the smaller bowl. That's what I got it up for. It's fine. Yeah, it is fine. Okay. Which up for one second? Back a little bit. Uh, Amy wants you to touch tips. Okay, Amy, give me one second. Okay. I'll touch hell out of them. And what are we making? We're making uh, in-house ravioli using wonton wrappers from Publix. Mm -hmm. We're cheating a little bit. We're gonna be fine though. What's up, Rocky? Rocky, we met Rocky at Tom and Dan's last Friday, babe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is important. Greg Rung says he totally wants to tag team you. Okay, that's, uh, man, that's so uncomfortable, you know? <laughs> Sauce is still breaking down. We're doing fine. We get that on the simmer. It's good. Okay. We definitely want to keep, uh, pay attention 
to these asparagus tips because they will, oh gosh, that's so perfect. We did do a Taco Tuesday. We did a Taco Tuesday, last, was it last week? Yeah, Paul, we did a Taco Tuesday last week. Um, we made fish tacos and shrimp tacos. Yeah, I think we did, 100%. Yep. All right, so we got your mix. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna add is, this is Parmesan cheese. And this is that Parmesan Reggiana. It's a little saltier and nuttier than the creamy, yeah. like uh, you get when you just eat Parmesan. So we're gonna add about probably a tablespoon of that. This is the important part. Sharp, okay. This is sharp provolone. Sharp provolone is a little funky. It's not like your creamy sandwich provolone. This is kind of like Fontina or um, Asiago a little bit. Okay. You don't want a lot of it in there, okay? Because okay. it will take over really well. It'll become so funky and you gooey, you don't you want do it. it. Okay. So we're making our ricotta mix. And Tori just wants this. She just wants these vegetables in here, the, the onion, the mushroom, the, the shallot. She just wants that in there. And we're gonna fill her ravioli up with it. Oh man. Is it good? That's terrible. Yeah, Aaron, we're, um, we're using wontons. We're cheating. Yeah. It's a cheat. That's perfect right there. Let's build mine. Okay. All right. So, ricotta cheese. Probably about half a cup. Okay. Salt. Probably about half a teaspoon, pepper, a little bit, mm -hmm. about that much. <laughs> about that much. Um, yeah, about that much. We want to get our cheese in there. We're going to do the same thing we're going to do there, three cheese. We're going to do some parm. God, you can taste that. That's, that provolone sets that off. Really good. I mean, really does set it off great. A little bit of that sharp provolone, a little bit of funky in there, which is good. And this is going to be great. Okay. Uh, mild Italian sausage and pink shrimp. Now, if you'll notice, I'm not going to put it all in there at once because I could probably cook a little bit too much of this. I'm going to look and make sure I have the right ratio of cheese to my filling, to okay. my to my stuff. Okay. You can see, and you'll be able to tell if it's white, and the cheese is just going to bind the skin. It actually looks pretty darn good. I'm actually going to call that pretty good. Call it good? Okay, uh, Josh wants to know, do you believe in spending money on grass-fed ribeye over regular um, and all of, uh, all other steaks? Should oh. I spend more money on high-quality cheeses? Yes, for sure for the cheese. I think so. I mean, I really do because and here's the thing. You can definitely tell the difference when you don't. Okay. Um, because a lot of the cheeses will be flat or kind of um, not bland, but they won't have the same body that the cheese you want. How you want it? Sauce is done. So Mike said, um, you have an apron on. You don't have to wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb said, talons up. Um, somebody else said that you didn't touch tips. Oh, yeah. Let's do that right now. Okay. For the mediums. Or no, tips. There you go. All right. Wine. Yes. Delicious wine. Facebook keeps crashing. Sorry, guys. A little bit of lemon. Lemon is an absolute, inequivocal must. It has to happen. The lemon does? Yes, has to. Even when you have wine in there, people are like, well, I've got wine in there. I've got all that I need. Lemon just makes all that, bing, just brighten right up. All right, okay. let's make some, uh, let's make some these ones. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so I, I want to get them up to room temperature before I start messing with them, okay? Okay. Now, there are these cool presses that you can get. We're gonna show you a little cheaty way to do it and see if it works for us this time. Okay. But there are presses that you can get that will do this. Now, because we have a lot of these things and we're only gonna make a few of them, I'm gonna use two to, to do mine. And, okay. But you can do this. So, imagine you have your wonton, all right? And you wanna fill it up. You'd put your, put your, your filling here. You fold it over, right? Okay. And we're gonna seal it up with some eggs. Okay. okay so. We're gonna do it the other way, though, Tor. Okay. I'm gonna make some. Gonna I'm, yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make a couple big ones. Okay. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're gonna get a wonton wrapper here. We have our little egg wash. Adam said that he heard that there's gonna be a pop-up restaurant in Thornton Park, and maybe we can film there and serve dinner to PTK family. Oh. Well, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. No, I won't do it. <laughs> we're in. <laughs> so that's egg. This is just an egg. Okay. That's all this is. Uh, it's just brush it on here because we want it to stick together when we push the other. I will make yours first, Tornado. Okay. That's so perfect. We're going to put our dollop of our cheese mixture okay. in the middle. Yep. We're going to put our, 
our one ton right on top. Now, here's the interesting part. Here's where it gets fun. Now, you can see already they're stuck together pretty darn well, right? Yes. This is a Lake Howell volleyball cup. Hey, now, there's my daughter right hey. there, front and center. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, they make these presses that are kind of cool, guys. Okay. Right, so, we can cut that off because that's done. Let me get these off there, Tori. Okay. So, make these, they make these presses. I'm going to get some more wine. Okay. Do you need some more? Huh? Do you need some more? Yeah, I'll get some more. Okay. The beautiful charm. Look at this. Look at this asparagus right there. How perfect they are. Mm, nice just the tips. It's too much. Okay. For who? Oh, don't go fancy. Oh, you went fancy. <laughs> so you went fancy, babe. Now that's so good. So what we can do is we can come around. Take our fork, and we're gonna do this little thing here. Now, there's probably too much filling in there, and this one may bust out, but I'm just gonna be honest with you right up front, a little bit too much. It's okay. And you can see, we're gonna just pull these things together, kind of sew it in, don't be too tough with it, and that's one of our raviolis. So there we have mm. it, let's set that up to the side now. Okay, do another. Now you're gonna have some waste here, but it's okay. we're having some fun, and you can do it the other way, you don't, or you don't have to do that, all right? We're not gonna put as much filling this time. Right. So we're learning as we go. Make sure everything's good here. Let me turn this off. Okay. Some egg. Yeah. So this is just a normal egg wash. Yep, just a little, no, it's not even a wash, it's just egg. Oh, okay. Yeah, egg wash is like with milk. Oh, I didn't even know. Well, I mean, I guess you could say it either way, Tor. This one just doesn't have any milk in it, baby. All right, guys, if you like it tonight, like and share, please. And I'm gonna make one of mine real quick, okay? okay? do it. So this is the shrimp, Italian sausage, and my cheese mixture, which is ricotta, sharp provolone, and Parmesan. Okay. We're gonna put our top right on. Oh my God, I'm so impressed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Top right on. We're gonna take our cup, and our cup, because it has a wide brim, is yeah. gonna press and seal the pasta. Okay. And then we just turn it until it goes through and breaks free. Yeah, Lori, these are wonton skins. Yep, wonton skins, so it is. So that's a little bit of a waste, and we understand that, but you can fry those if you want. And really, I could just take that and put it right in the water if I wanted to. That's so, so cool. We're call that good, all right? Tanya and I think Kathy said they make chips out of them. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, sure that's enough. cool. You can fry these things right up, put them in your uh, little dipping sauce or in just like a little uh, mixture of uh, soy sauce, brown sugar, green onion, garlic. Uh, works great. Sesame oil. Okay. Awesome. Travis, and, Dexter is outside. He got in the pool, so he can't come in. We have this little uh, beggar, that though. Rat. That is the worst. <laughs> the worst ever. Sits right next to me. The all worst. That's yeah. too much. You're doing too much. Yeah, they they I, called no. you out last time. Okay. Um, how many nights do you think you cook dinner? Three or four a week. Yeah, three or four a week. We go out to dinner otherwise. We've been going out a little bit lately. Oh, you know where we're going tomorrow night, right? Oh, we got to talk about where we went this weekend. No, you know where we're going tomorrow night, right? We're going to Noodles and Rice <laughs> Cafe for sure. Oh, that one's perfect. Babe, that you don't even have to squid. Oh, you kind of do. This yeah, one. I mean, you can. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, we may go in there and do that. Okay. That's why I like them at room temperature because the pasta gets a little, it's a little gummier so it sticks together better. Yeah. And again, we can do these just by, I'll tell you what, let me do one folding it in half, Tori. Okay. Just so I can show. So you can do it this way, ah, egg first to me. Mm -hmm. That way you can only use one if you wanna make a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. And you can prep these early in the day if you want something to do. You don't have to wait until the very last minute because they're gonna cook in like no time because everything inside's already cooked. Yeah. Josh, we don't think the new home's gonna have a pool because we're gonna move to Baldwin Park. And I don't think that there's any homes with pools there. No, I think they have community pools. Yeah. So this one should, look, can you just fold this right over? Make that crease like that, right? And then what you do is you come in with your knife and just and make your stereotypical ravioli. Oh, a square one. Yeah, yeah. Look at you with the fancy. Yeah, yeah. So you just come in here and then you just seal it up with your with your fork. You want to make sure you just push it together. That way you get that cool little. Now they do have a little yeah. press that you can get it like Williamson. I can get them online anywhere really. And those little presses are just a roller. So instead of doing it like that, yeah. You just take that and go, and it does it right up. Oh, there. I see. So how much do you think this dinner would cost? Um, dinner? For four people, probably 30 bucks. So that's what it cost us yeah. tonight? And that's assuming you have the bottle of wine. I'll say that because the wine's $9. But the shrimp cost me four bucks. The package of Italian sausage was like $3. Okay. I already had the onions. I already had the garlic. The ricotta cheese is like nothing. And I have a big old can of it because it was buy one, get one. And we were going to use it two weeks in a row. Yeah. But you can buy one half that size and it'll work for probably two sixty nine. dollars We try to keep these things on the low, man, because we know that everybody out there sometimes... You know, they uh, fight for uh, a little bit of cash, and they want to make sure they can still eat something kind of fun. Yep. And we want these recipes to be approachable. That's why we don't really do a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah. I'm going to make another, um, I'm going to make you one, Tor. 
Uh, there are pools in, in Baldwin, but there's not a lot. Well, we're not getting one of those houses. Yeah, we're not I think those are like million dollar houses. That's why we're leaving, because we don't want that. We don't want all of that. God, man. I, mean, I want to go to somebody else's pool, <clears throat> destroy it, get oh, then, wasted, right, just and hammer. then just leave. I wish Daniel <laughs> had one so we could do that to him every week. Every week. Every day I'd be able to ruin his house. David, we, just keep ruining. We're making. I've got a um, knack for it. We are making ravioli. And we're doing we're doing it with wonton wrappers. Yep. And the mixture we have inside, if you're just tuning in, is really simple, guys. It's sautéed vegetables, which is basically um, shallots. Okay. It's garlic. Right. Yep. It is uh, salt, pepper, a little bit of onion. Yeah. Italian sausage and shrimp. That's all we did. All right, so we're gonna do some different, we'll do one more, I'll do one more square one tour and then we'll do a plate real quick and call it good, okay? This guy Russell just said, the press inventor spent a lot of money for copywriting, support your local press inventor. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. We support you. And those little presses are cheap, they're not that bad. You can yeah. get in there for nothing. Mark, I don't think there's gas in Baldwin. Ooh, I'm not sure though, Andrea will have to answer you. We don't know what we're buying. We haven't even sold this house yet. We haven't even put it on the market yet. But yeah, we're we so excited. We're working with Mike Oliver over at Oliver Brothers. We, we are going to put it on the market. In oh, yeah, you're weeks. right. We don't two have or three weeks. Uh, um, November 1st, it'll be on the market. Y'all get your wallets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my house. Buy my house. Okay, so we're going to see how fun these things are. And the good thing, imagine your kids doing this. You're sitting in your kitchen. Aww. You got a filling. Everybody, uh, every, you know, a cheese filling. Everybody's going to like it. Ours are gone. I'll do. Yeah. Okay, now. All right. So I'm going to get My water here. has boiled down to nothing. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit more water in here. Come up, and I'm going to get another glass of wine. We're almost done. Pete, right. you can contact Mike Oliver. I think he's still on here, kind of listening. Is he? I think he is. He tuned in earlier. All right. Come on, baby. Well, baby, you know, I mean, you can talk to him too. My <laughs> God, man. I am. We use our big burner here. Well. Do you remember which raviolis are mine? Huh? Yeah. Well, maybe. They want to know. Uh, not really. Uh, totally off topic. Ooh, I didn't read the rest of this yet. Um, do you all love the fifth wheel? Oh, funny you should say, ask that, Josh. Hmm? We went camping this weekend, aren't we? We are going camping this weekend. We can't wait. We cannot wait. Um, would you do anything different, meaning motorhome, bigger, smaller? Um, well, different model. We actually think we're going to downsize ours because we think we're instead of uh, instead of pulling one, we, I believe we're going to go ahead and grab. I'm going to do these tomatoes real quick, Tor. Yeah, go ahead. So we're just going to we're going to sear these in our, in our okay. pan real quick. Excuse me, Maisie. I'm making a bit of a mess because I'm trying to. Maisie that. can't hear and she's blind now. Ooh. So. But we're not going to crush these, Tori. She doesn't move. Okay. We're just going to mark them because if I put them on there, they'll just crush. Them. Okay. Say hi. Say hi. She's the worst animal I've ever lived. <laughs> Um, so uh, about the fifth wheel? Yeah, yeah. We're um, so we're thinking about getting a drivable. And the reason why? For a long wait time, do something different. Okay. Uh, the reason why is because uh, we we are thinking there's a possibility we're going to take prime time and get a covered trailer because we had so much fun at that delay that Deland Bacon Brew Fest thing. Yep. That we really enjoyed that, and you know to be able to pull a trailer with something and pull in and do these festivals like uh, Egg Fest this year is going to be at the uh, the campgrounds uh, over there in Indian River. So there's like going to be hookups where you can go and park your camper and enjoy the weekend. So okay, yeah, we're probably going to do something like that. Okay. It's all said and done. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. Um, we did do a meatloaf meal. Uh, yeah, go look for it. It's on the website. Yeah, I think it was like one of like the fifth or sixth. I can't remember, but um, we have meatloaf on there. We're gonna run out of uh, recipes. Oh, I don't think we will. All right, let's get around. Um, what you, what wine are you pairing this with? I, I'm drinking a little Chardonnay tonight. I, I honestly don't know a lot about wine. So I, I lean on uh, I lean on the internet for yeah. some help on that. Okay. And uh, that's what I did tonight. So uh, I'm always drinking Pinot. So I I don't care if it matches or not. That's what I like. So we're gonna get our squares in. I want to come over there, yeah. but I'm plugging us in because I think we might die soon. How long do you leave it in? Yeah, not that long. It's gonna cook in like two or three minutes, guys. Okay. All right. I hope they don't bust. They may. That's okay if they do. And this, uh, that cheese, this water will melt it pretty quick. If you seal these up well, they won't move. Don't get the water so rapidly boiling that it's jostling it around. Yeah. You really don't need to. You just need to simmer, really, just like it is right now. Cheryl, we are making raviolis tonight. 
We're showing you a cheat way of how to make them. Look at that. This looks so good, honey. I am impressed. Are you? That's awesome. Yeah. What's up, New Smyrna Beach? We love it there. Oh my God, we love it. Is there a better place to get down? So much fun. Let's go. And the cool thing is, it's almost like a poached egg. I really don't need to move it around or move, uh, turn it over. I don't want to do that. I really don't want to move them as much as all because we're already cheating a little bit. Okay. So are, those, are they turning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. A little bit. Just leave them a little bit warm. You don't want them cold on the plate. Okay. You know? And I'm not going to smash them, so we'll just leave them there. I actually probably should put the skin down. Your boiling is yeah. happening. That's all right. We're going to turn down. Okay. They're probably already done. We're just going to let them cook a couple more seconds. Okay. Just to make sure we're good. And then we'll go ahead and plate this fish up and get everybody on their way. Yeah. To get you eating. I know you're hungry. I am so hungry. Mm-hmm. That is good. And that, that filling is going to heat right back up. So you're good. So let's go and get them out of here. Okay. We'll let them rest in our, our pan right here, Tori. Okay. okay. Is that what? Okay. Yeah. So, so gonna, you just let them drain? Yeah, I let them drain a little bit. I don't want all that water on my plate when I go to present. And I don't want it getting in my sauce. Every time you say present, it reminds me of like porn or something. Tori. What is wrong with you tonight? You have lost your damn mind, dude. Seriously, you need to get your blank together. It's a little scary. A little bit scary. Shut up. Yeah. All right. So we're going to let that do that. I'm going to get another drink. Oh, guys, let's have a little chat. While these things are drying off, I want to remind man, we went to a place, and I want to give her a shout out because not only is she such a sweet person, but she's she really creates an unbelievable flavor. We put a post up on our Lord Facebook Angel. page. For uh, Easton Market, Tori and I stopped mm. out there where we were uh, over hanging out with uh, the the bands and the Dennis's, and we dropped by and got um, and got some lunch at Emily Rankin's place called Florida Co. at the Easton Market, right on Corinne Drive, down by uh, Baldwin Park. Uh, not only is she an amazing woman, uh, you know, really one of the queens of that farm to table movement here in Orlando. The food at her place is insane. The shrimp are so fresh. She had a steam basket of shrimp with lemon and these special dipping sauces, just like, like parsley and oil, really unique, a little bit of lemon, really delicious stuff. But that banh mi sandwich I put a picture on, I looked at her and I said, honestly, that is literally one of the best things I've eaten this year. It is that good. The bread comes from right across the hall at Old Hearth, yeah. uh, and it, it was an amazing meal. And the, bowl, the noodles bowl was incredible. A great place to get a good, healthy meal, and it won't set you back much dough. Plus, she has local beers, and that stuff. she's a good one. Her name is Emily Rankin. And she owns Florida & Co. at the East End Market. Go say hey to her. Not a dime paid. I promise. This is from the heart. She's a good woman and her food is insanely good. Yep. Um, so, I'm sorry I was cooking. What's the dumpling ravioli cooking in? Okay. Uh, just water. No, no, no. I think they want to know what the dumpling itself is. It it's a wonton wrapper. <laughs> a wonton wrapper, if you can believe it. I am pretty impressed tonight. Okay. By this. Good. Good. So, we're going to take our... Um, okay. Uh, we're going to take, I think you have the, you have these. So we're, we're using our long plate tonight. Okay. All right. And I'm going to put a square one in the middle. Oh, you're trying to eat fancy? Yeah, I don't know. I just got a bougie, a bougie action happening? Yeah. We'll get a little round on the end. Ask the Tula. What's happening? Right. We're going to get a couple few of our tomatoes in with our little uh, pan seared asparagus. Thank Give you, us some Melissa. really, really nice color. Yeah. Don't forget, we do have our compound oil. If you missed out earlier, this is olive oil with a roasted red pepper and tomato paste with salt and pepper, and that's all it is. But let me tell you something. The roast on that pepper it's is so unbelievable. Good. It comes through there. You can't believe how good that is. Cheryl's from Maryland. Hey, cool. What's happening, Maryland? This is our cream cherry sauce. Now, here's how and why I built this dish the way I did, okay? That's red onion, shallot, garlic. Yep. Sherry wine, chicken stock, butter, cream. Yep. Okay. This is going to be a sweet... Savory sauce. Okay. All right, so we're gonna we're just gonna put that sauce right on our plate. Yeah. Gonna get some of those onions going through there. All right. Yep. We're gonna put a couple of our asparagus, uh, charred asparagus throughout the plate. Okay. We're gonna put a couple of our little tomatoes as we go there. Little orange tomatoes. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> a little bit more sauce on top of our veggies and then we're going to use our compound oil <laughs> can you look at the camera real quick? <laughs> your mustache matches your shirt compound oil <laughs> and we want to just really just almost take this compound oil and just kind of sprinkle it on the plate really yeah. it looks uh 
amazing. So we're also going to take a little bit of fresh Italian parsley because we always love a little bit of garnish. Nice. Well, and parsley is like your favorite garnish, right? Yeah. We're going to just a little bit. Don't need a whole lot of grain on there anymore because you're going to have some good things. You got the asparagus happening. Yeah, we'll do that like that. And there you go, guys. In-house made ravioli with sausage and shrimp and four cheeses. Excuse me, three cheeses. Parmesan, uh, sharp provolone, and then a ricotta. Italian sausage and shrimp in some of these, and the other ones just have just the cheese with some herbs, which is garlic, and salt and pepper. Really don't need a whole lot. We put some asparagus on the plate, just kind of give it some color and a little bit of, and some uh, veggies to eat on, and some um, a little tomato with this beautiful sherry cream sauce, and this ravioli is missing some cream sauce. We need to have some sauce. Okay. And that's a good little fancy dish. It doesn't take any time to fix it whatsoever, and we're using wontons. Now, let me tell you the cool thing about that. Okay. These wontons, Take those same exact things and get a pan going with some butter, saute them. And then you have those, you have like dumplings, like fried dumplings. Take those same exact dumplings and put them in a steamer and steam them. Okay. And then put them in a pan and sear them and get your favorite little sauce. And a great little sauce for these, just real quick for you. Sesame oil, soy sauce, yep. brown sugar, okay. garlic, sesame seeds. Yep. Just stir that up a little bit. You'll get that great flavor. And that's just a great simple dipping sauce for those uh, wontons if you want to use something else. You can just put veggies in there if you want, a little cabbage. We just wanted to show you how we do it so you can take it and add your creativity to it and make your favorite plate. So we certainly thank you for tuning in. This is episode 20. We did our in-house ravioli using wontons that you can get at Publix. I think that wrap is $2.49 for that package. And you can see look how many we have left over. Tons. So I gotta make some more because I'm hungry. Yes. Uh, we had La Crema wine tonight and my wife had this beautiful uh, Kenwood um, vineyards, which is beautiful, really oh, nice. So good. Kind of a Super weird aromatic. thing in your nose, yeah. just very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we thank you guys so much. Just like and share the video if you don't mind. Thanks for watching these meats for sponsoring Primetime Kitchen and allowing us to do cool stuff like this. Florida Fresh Meats, we thank you as well. And of course, the Oliver Brothers who are handling our real estate deal, Oliver, OliverBrothersRealEstate.com. And other than that, I think we're going to get out of here. We're actually going to cut a post show tonight, which I want you guys to listen to. Harvey Weinstein is in the news. And we're going to share a little story about how many Harvey Weinsteins there are right here in Orlando, Florida. Ooh. If you caught my tweet earlier, this is yeah. a real serious topic to us. We'll have some fun talking about it. And we'll tell you a story that, that Tori went, went through that you won't even believe. And I promise you the people behind it are people you'd know immediately if I said their name. How crazy is that? But I can't say it because I don't want to get sued. Mm -hmm. I can't prove anything. All right, we'll see cool. you guys next right here on the How Tuesday. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Visit ptkradio.com. Bye. Bye, guys.